the, the project out here is, I mean, it's principally around conservation of the cockatoos, the Carnaby cockatoos, because they're endangered species. Uh, and it's also Luca's license to operate. Um, we've, under ministerial statement, we've got some protective measures in place. Um, so really the, the crux of the deliverable at the end is we're going to leave a conservation covenant after we've finished mining which protects this habitat. The quickest way to reinstate habitat is provide an artificial hollow for the birds. Um, and certainly we've had great success here at Caterby um, incorporating artificial hollows into the, into the area because there's so much other competition from other birds, um, bees, etc. It, it gives them more options. Uh, and the particular hollows that we use, these polytubes, include a scratching post and they're, they're sort of designed more specifically for the carnivores to try and exclude some of their competitors too. So it just gives them that little bit of an edge they need where they're facing competition and um, other threats to their breeding success. So yeah, no, they're working really well. The environmental outcomes are really important and certainly um, that's been recognised in mining approvals these days. It's, um, it's pretty important to, to know up front what it is that you're going to do in terms of your legacy that you leave after you mine. And, um, this is a really important project for that because you're actually, um, we're, we're re-vegetating degraded farmland, uh, we're protecting endangered species, uh, and along the way we'll probably assist some other species that we probably don't even intend to. The Wandu trees in here are you know, three, four hundred years old and you know, it's part of a very small catchment, so it's very unique. And there's a few of these along um, the North to South Highway. So, you know, previously before the mining here, this was this was farmland. So cattle would come down to the the creek and and graze, and um, you know, and that's you can see weeds intruding. So, so once once we've created a conservation covenant here, hopefully the weed the weed load will, will minimise, and what we'll see is we'll see um, new plants and and previous plants come back in. You know, orchids, etc., um, re-establishing themselves, and then that'll create more habitat. Um, and, and other animals like the carpet python, etc., which are also priority species, um, they might start to flourish as well. Yeah, look, they're really they're a really cool bird. The carnivores, uh, they're uh, they're quite. I find them quite prehistoric almost. They're they're very. Um, they got a long long lineage, um, and when you hold a hold a chick, it's like holding a little uh, little dinosaur almost. You know, they're quite. Um, you know, this extraordinary large beak and this um, you know the pin feathers, um, this fat little belly. You know, they're quite they're quite cute. Um, and certainly the adults are very, um, very communicative. Uh, the other black cockatoos I don't think have as broad a vocabulary as the carnabies. Carnabies actually can have conversations and you can really pick out different, um, different conversations going on. Yeah, it's quite intriguing. I wonder what they're saying sometimes. Yeah, it's, it's quite cool.